Okay, guys, how you doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Screens, uh, using smart technology gain, of course. Now, um, let's talk about screen paint. I did a couple of videos ago, uh, videos uh, yesterday talking about how our technology stacks up against screen paint, and we feel that screen paint is the analog TV or analog projection screen or whatever we want to call it, uh, because those of you who remember, I guess... I guess all of you should remember this. I mean, it wasn't that far back. But when analog TV, you know, you did everything like getting stereo headset sister antenna, sorry, headset stereo uh, antennas and all this different stuff with higher frequencies, so you can actually bring in a much better and much crisper picture. Um, you had cable, you had dish, you know what I mean? All this came with high definition channels or compressed analog high definition channels. Uh, so basically, you can have a better picture quality. But all in all, it was still analog. And then then a HD came out and the HD signal was freaking amazing. I mean, you just saw colors and it was more vivid and there was more detail to it. And you just seen things you did not see on an analog TV. This is where we fall at in screen paint and our technology. We look at screen paint as the analog TV. Now, somebody may be thinking like, what do you know about screen paint, man? You really need to get a large cup of coffee and a box of donuts or whatever you, you like to drink with your, eat with your coffee and go through my archives and check out my work on screen paint. It'll blow your freaking mind. I've done everything you can possibly think of when it comes to screen paint. And this is why I feel that the technology we have now is far more surpassed it and it's a new change. So, the problem you have here with these screen paints, and I'm saying you have, even with the professional ones, they still do the same thing. Right now, we're replacing a screen for a, a company who has this huge screen and right now it, they use goose screen. I don't say anything bad about goose screen. It's a fantastic screen, whatever, but that's the product that they use. And so forth and so forth, we're coming in and we're putting in one of our screens. So we just leave it at that because I don't want anybody going, oh, you know, you say all this nonsense about my company. You know, I'm not saying anything bad about your company. Pretty sure goose screen's fantastic. That's all. But anyway, um, let's move on from there. Um, so anyway, so uh, people more and more every day, not going on with this because I know you guys are saying start the freaking demonstration. People more and more every day are replacing their TV with projectors, right? What is the point if you come in home and turn out every light in your environment just to watch your projection screen or having in a medieval dungeon kind of environment where it's like this ambient lit dim light environment. Now, if you have your own dedicated movie theater, that's fantastic. But if you don't, then you're subjected to that nonsense. So anyway, so let's look at the screen paint I have behind me. This right here is bare silver screen, very popular among people who want a cheap screen. Now, mind you, keep in mind why spend the money for a good projector if you're just going to basically crap it up with a cheap screen. The equivalent of buying a Lamborghini and saying, hey, look, rip out the engine and just give me a hamster and a wheel and I'm good to go because that's pretty much what you're doing. Now, if you're going to go down that route, absolutely have to go down that route. I would suggest don't buy it from somebody because you can just make it yourself. Pretty much all it is is just either glitten or bare with two teaspoons of black paint. That's it. It's just black paint. Some people add a little gray to it. Some people add a little uh, black to it. Some people add gray and white. Some people add black and white. Some It's a different combination, but it's all the same thing. It's just all the same thing. So the bottom line is, I mean, I saw one demonstration where a particular fellow said, just get the glitten and put two teaspoons of black. Or put three teaspoons of black. Or put four teaspoons of black. Or put five teaspoons of black. It's still the same thing. It's still the same thing no matter what. So it's still going to react the same way no matter what. No matter how many teaspoons of black or whatever you put into it. It's going to react the same way. So let's come over here real quick. And let's check out the projector. Because I've had a customer one time tell me, look, man, I put the bare silver screen up. And I think it may be my projector. I'm going to go and get some higher lumens. It's not your projector. It's, it's your screen. So we're going to use the VT595 projector. This is an NEC. Mind you, this projector will cost you on eBay, you can find one for $25, $35, high as you might spend at $75. If you see anybody out there selling one for $600, don't buy it, because that projector is from 06 or 07. It's, it's back, it's back, trust me, it's back there. So it's DBI to HDMI, just want to let you guys know. All right, so we're going to do this demonstration with the lights on, as showing that this would be your environment, and then we're going to do it with the lights off. All right, so let's remove this right now and show you what we got so this is the screen right here and as you can see the lighter version is going to be a little washed out where the darker the screen gets 
the um, per picture is more visible. But on top of that, now it's, it's it's more visible. But the problem is, uh, you get less detail and it comes out a little dirty. Where on here, it doesn't come out as dirty. It comes up very bright. Comes up vivid. But you'll see as we go along. All right. So um, let's play a little bit of this first. Now you're probably thinking, well, Ken, that looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. That looks amazing. Let's get the lights, guys. Let's get the lights. Okay. Now I've got the lights. I know you're thinking, that looks very good. Now, to some people, this looks like an amazing picture. Now, mind you, keep it in mind. Look at her skin tone, right? Now, I'm going to pause it if I can get it to pause. I'm going to pause it right there. Look at her skin tone. Now, you see the dark side you see right here. You see the skin tone's a little dirtier. Over here, it's a little bit lighter. And then here, it's going to be much brighter over here, okay? Now watch, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to take a 47 AG. This is our technology that we design. Matter of fact, I'm going to do this with the lights out because I think it's going to give you more of an effect to it. The 47 AG. We're going to take that. I'm not going to show you. I'm not going to show you yet. I'll show you the 47 AG. This is a 47 AG on skin tone. Now, you see, at first, when you were looking at the picture, the skin tone looked normal. That's understandable. It looks normal. But this is the new technology we are developing with our blackout cloths, fixed frame screens. Well, actually, we already have with the blackout cloth and fixed frame screens. This is the technology we have now over screen paint. Now, you tell me, and this and her skin tone, which one looks more realistic? Now you're probably thinking, well, you know what? That that's different. That is a that is a uh, that is a um, a uh, a dark screen versus a lighter screen. What we're going to do is we're going to take the same sample sheet here, and we're going to put it right against the bare silver screen. Now let's see if the bare silver screen can match the new technology. All right. Now get that camera to focus a little better. Still brighter. Now look at the flowers here. And look at the flowers there. Okay, get my camera to play with me better. There you go. Now, watch this. I'm going to go back and I'm going to grab this sheet right here. Put it right there. So we have, we have both of them up there. I'm going to come over here real quick. Sorry about the camera moving around, guys. I'll show you with the lights on. Now see the lights on? See how you can see our screen? See our screen is, uh, uh, you can see the picture quality. There's the bare silver screen. As I said, it washes out with the lights on. That's what you're getting from screen paint. Literally, that is literally what you're getting from screen paint. Now we're going to go back. A little back, a little farther. Alright, and we'll start it here. Alright, pause it right there, right there, that right there is the bare silver screen, right there, and there is the dark and the, um, actually the almost black color, but in, in light and actually dark gray, and that shows you exactly where you're getting. Now, let's hit the lights. Now look at our screen with the lights on. The lights off. Sorry about that. Huge difference. Huge difference. And mind you, that is a bare silver screen right there. Look at that compared to our screen. This is our technology. And mind you, we're doing this on a cheap projector. This is a projector I, I you know can cost you $25 for this projector. That just shows you it's not your um it's not your projector. It's your screen. It's your screen that's pretty much crapping up your your image or messing up your image but that's what it is all right so let's go move from here now 
Now see, the amazing thing about our technology is, is the fact that our screens have been tested on 300, 400 watts of direct light. So for this, this is a cakewalk for our technology. Pause that right there, look at that. Now look at her skin tone right here, look at the bare silver screen, see how dark it is? And look at her skin tone here, perfect. This is perfect skin tone. That's what you want, you want it to look realistic, right? If you're gonna spend all that money for a good projector, you want it to look realistic. You do not want it to look fake. People are demanding the best picture quality ever from their projectors, from their screens. You know what I mean? Why in the world go out and spend that money for a good projector and you're dealing with this nonsense? All right. Trust me. I got a lot of people going to hit me some hate on this one. <laughs> but it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't bother me at all. The dislikes don't bother me. Just want to let you know that. It doesn't bother me. Because the bottom line is a company will come in here and see this. This is how we got our first major contract because the company will come in here and see this technology and they'll see it for what it is. People who desire the best and the most from their from the performance from their projector from their home theater investment will see it for what it is. But you'll get those individuals, those little haters out there that'll be upset over this and I feel sorry if this ruffled your feathers a bit but this is change. I would think you would understand, you know what I mean? But like I said, you know what I mean? I'm here to just show the difference between uh, what, you're get, what you're really getting when it comes to screen paint. It's me knocking over my power drill in the background. Got the lights out. So for those of you that I want to argue and complain, well, you should have did it with the lights out. The lights are out. Tell me what you see. Now, if you notice, look at the towel right here. That is the color of white. This is what white is supposed to look like. Not that, not that, that's white. Now I'm going to sit right here, I'm going to pause it right here, pause it right there for a minute. Alright, now we're going to make it difficult, let's make it a little difficult. Let's drop some light, now let's just say somebody is using this for commercial use and they want to see how the screen is going to react with around 300 watts of light nailing the screen in a fully lit environment. And I'm going to show you what our screens go through. So this is the kind of punishment we have to put our screens through to show you. Let me go back here for a minute. I want to make sure. I don't mean to move around too much, guys. I'm sorry about that. There we go. And it just shows you how high tech the advancement in these screens. Now these screens are using something called smart technology gain. This is a gain that I engineered. I remember when I was actually showing our smart technology gain on ABS forums and they were saying, oh, that's impossible. No one can design and engineer their own gain. Voila. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was going to add that. That in there really quick. All right, so let's drop the lights, get the screen paint a chance to be able to perform. Now here's the, here's the mind blower right here. It doesn't make a difference what color, what shade you do the screen paint? That's technically that just it's just not who just it just the technology is old. It is. And I mean for somebody to sit there and say, well, Ken, you know, you designed screen paint. Yeah, I had a paint called Crystal Edge Technology Screens, and my Crystal Edge Technology Screen Paint 
uh, was we were doing demonstrations with 500 watt bar lights. We were doing demonstrations uh, in fully lit environments. We were doing demonstrations against high performance screens. We were doing all that crazy stuff. You know what I mean? A lot of people frowned upon us when we did that kind of stuff. You know, they said it's not necessary to have all that light. Well, this is where we're at now. And I mean, I was doing stuff with screen paint that people just weren't doing with other screen paints. They just weren't doing it. This is why I can sit back here on an outdated projector and just blow out three different forms of screen paint in one hit. All right, so let's take out the lights. Pause that really quick. We'll take the lights out. Drop that out real quick. There we go. Man, I'm telling you, it's you got to do your homework, man. It, you know, you got to do your homework. And like I said, we're going to have people hate on this. Some people are going to like it. Some people are going to hate it. You know, it bothers me none. You know, if you send your comments, it doesn't bother me at all. Because the bottom line, at the end of the day, not to be rude or not to be disrespectful, but, you know, for those of you who supported us, thank you so much. You're freaking awesome. For companies who offer us contracts, thank you so much. You're freaking awesome. But you're going to have individuals out there, and we all know what they're called. They're called the haters. Um, and they're just going to dislike what I do. Because we raised the bar. You know, we put the bar literally up on the moon. you got to get a rocket ship or a stepladder to get up there. But anyway, um, at the end of the day, man, the bottom line is, love us or hate us, we have a contract. we got a major contract. And within this contract, it doesn't change uh, the way we make money now. Because... It, it just can't it doesn't affect us because now we're dealing with business offline now a lot of business offline and people who come in and we do business with um, Don't have the hatred and all that nonsense. They see a technology that works and a technology that will benefit uh, Themselves and also benefit the customer. They, that's how they see it from their point of view a business point of view So I'm gonna be doing a lot of demonstrations on us versus in screen paint so you know strap in because it's gonna be a crazy ride okay guys I hope you enjoyed this video demonstration I'm gonna leave it from here cuz I got some other things I got to do right now I got a lot of work on my plate but I hope you guys enjoyed the video demonstration I like to thank you all for watching